Well, one of the best things about living in Bali is that almost everyone has a swimming pool if you are an expat or digital nomad here. You've got to have a swim when you wake up. It's pretty much the first thing I do when I get out of bed is jump in the pool. Welcome to the life in Bali. <laughs> I love you. You can run, you can hide, but you can't escape my love. Then maybe head somewhere like Warren Paso for breakfast. So why don't you come join us? So this time I'm here with my friend Anne-Marie. She only arrived like two days ago. Hi, I'm Anne-Marie. <laughs> What's on the menu? Ah, uh, there's so much good stuff. Especially so, in the smoothie bowls. Yeah, all the smoothie bowls, like egg dishes, um, fruit salad, porridge. And then there's lots of like fresh juice and booster juices. You like the energetic one, right? Yeah, it's really good. Warum Paso is pretty much the closest breakfast place to Happy Days Villa uh, to where I will be living for the next three months so it seems kind of ideal in a day in the life of Janet in Bali I had to bring you guys here show you what I eat for breakfast <laughs> it's also really cheap you know like you can get um, eggs on toast for what? two euro two euro two quid um, and then they also have like coffees, cappuccino, smoothies, stuff like that. Our breakfast has just arrived, two energetic um, sort of smoothie juices. And we've got some fried eggs on toast. And this is our mango smoothie bowl that just arrived. It looks pretty yummy. That is a lot of coconut. You really can't enjoy the best of Bali unless you take a few hours off every day to go exploring. So I love just jumping on my bike and just sort of driving down a road I've never been down before or going in a new direction. Today we found these incredible terraced rice fields just at the other side of, Cho uh, at the other side of Changu. And there's even a gorgeous temple over there. So we're just stopping to take some pictures before we try and find another secluded beach. another totally secluded beach it's called Mungu we can only see two other people here um, but as you can see right down there where the elephant is is um, Echo Beach and Badu Balang and all the main stretches of beach in Changu um, but this part of the beach is totally totally empty so it's a black sand beach and it is seriously hot it's like burning We've just come to this super cute little cafe. Very close to where we are staying. Um, I've just got a small little snack for lunch. Some spring rolls. So I'm just uploading a video and Anne-Marie is working away. 
So you can't finish off a day in Bali without coming to watch the sunset. And we're here today, uh, one of the top sunset spots in Changu. It is called the Lawn. A bit pricier than some of the other places, but um, it has one of the best sunsets. It has an infinity pool overlooking the beach, good music, and of course, a happy hour. Well, it is my friend Jill's birthday today. Happy birthday! Woo! So we're here at the lawn. We are on a holiday. Oh my god. Woo! Holiday! <laughs> 